the Elise's Crimson Kid comes with a ton of different sounds inside of it, but sometimes I want to load my own samples onto the brain. I'm going to show you how to get that taken care of. Right now I'm in my kit section. So I have all the preset stuff in there, but let's build my own kit. The first thing I want to do is in the kit section, I want to go into my menu and I want to take a look at my USB memory. So I'm going to push the down button on USB and press enter. Inside of here I can go sample load and it's going to search the content on that USB drive. I have a few different options and I press my down button to access them. When I find the one that I want, I press enter and it will say load to user voice. It takes a moment or two, so I've already done it to save some time for the video. To go and take a look at that, let's get out of this load to user voice. I'm going to press exit and let's go to menu. And now I can take a look at the voice option. We'll press enter. When I play the different pads or symbols, it'll change which one I'm going to be working on. Let's do this low tom here. First off, down below you'll see I have volume control, I have panning control, and I have pitch control. So for that voice I have some options. I also have reverb, decay, mode if it's poly, tons of different things to really allow me to adapt it. But what I want is I want to change the actual sound. This says it's on 126 and I loaded in that user patch so it's way the back um, at the very start. So let's go and find U. 05 alien voices and now when I hit this 